First things first, I intended to have the actual case opening footage for all three of the cases I had stockpiled, but unfortunately two of the video files got corrupted, so I don't have them, I just have the items after the fact to show you. Anyways, this case yielded a pretty good item actually, I like this skin a lot. Uh, I mean, it's not super rare or anything, but I'm happy with it because I enjoy using it. So yeah, SG553 Pulse from the first one. This one gave a Stat Track XM1014 Red Python. This was from the Esports 2014 case. And then I got a Famous Sergeant from the other Operation Phoenix case I had. So this one's actually the rarest out of any, I believe is the rarest. Um, I, I I checked, or at least the game says it's the rarest, so I don't know. I mean, it's not a super cool skin in my opinion, but it's better than nothing. Speaking of skins, my Steam friend Closed Whistle recently donated two skins for the Tech 9 and suggested that I try the so-called Tech 9 Challenge in competitive mode, which I'm not completely sure the rules of still, but I believe it's something like ace around in competitive or get MVP in an overall game in competitive using only the Tech 9 whenever you can, even though you can only use it on one team because it's a terrorist weapon, so... Yeah, a bit complicated to figure that out. Anyways, I was trying it, and I have this one clip that I think is somewhat decent of this single round in competitive match on Nuke. I was playing with a really coordinated team that was communicating, buying stuff for each other when they needed it, and just playing really well. So it is overall the strength of the team that helped me accomplish this minor accomplishment. Uh, my score is not very good in this overall game, but this round is definitely the best of them all. So I get that kill, defending the bomb I just planted, and I see that dude. So when he peeks around, get him as well. And I just decide to hide in the corner, be quiet, wait for him. And I get him. Too. So, I mean, it's not super insane, not super pro status, but eh, it's an MVP in a round. I think that's worthy of a Tech 9 challenge. I had another clip, um, but it got corrupted because the game disconnected. I didn't have the demo files. This is a long story, but you're just going to have to take my word for it. And uh, my only proof is that Operation Breakout coin clip I have because I did play that match right after I bought the Operation Breakout coin. It was a uh, hostage rescue on competitive, and I did super well. Swear to God, I came really close to acing around, if not acing around, with the Tech-9. Uh, anyways, by this point, you're probably wondering, what the hell is going on? He has an Asimov for the op? Uh, no, it's actually my friends. Uh, if you remember the shoutouts video I did a while back, my friend named Sali from Serbia plays Counter-Strike as well, and he let me borrow his op skin for just a couple minutes while he was eating dinner at one point, so I jumped into a deathmatch round, started filming, and unfortunately, in this deathmatch round, this kill streak was mostly bots that you're seeing right here because most of the other team was all bots. Uh, but I did get that penetration kill right there, which I think was pretty boss, even though it was still a bot. And I did manage to kill the single player that was on the other team, the only real person, uh, just a, a couple seconds ago, if you saw that kill, where the dude was standing where I'm at now. Uh, and it's funny because that teammate is just standing there shooting at the chickens missing over and over again with his deagle. So I'm like, you need to die. But of course he doesn't, you know, no scope to the head. And just try not to injure your teammates, even though they take no damage in deathmatch. It's ridiculous, but he has pretty beautiful skin. I uh, totally got owned right there, though, so. Yeah, just to prove that I did borrow it from my friend, and I didn't buy it or something like that, and I actually gave it back as well, I'm showing you the footage of me trading the Asimov back. And those two guns that I'm getting in exchange are the collateral that I gave him to prove that I'm a trustworthy person because I did want those skins back for myself. I like the stat track. I like the sergeant. Uh, well, at least the sergeant might be useful for merchanting or something at, in, in, at some point. I don't know exactly how you do that. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. Dr. Loinstein, comment, rate, share, subscribe. Check me out in other videos, other playlists, other games. Hope you're having a great day out there. Peace.